Okay, it says the first word. Civically active, 
They are two times more likely to make healthier choices. They are two times more likely to participate in science, engineering, and computer technology programs during out of school time. And very importantly, forage girls are two times more likely and nearly three times more likely to take part in science programs compared to girls in other out of school time activities. So that alone is very, very important. And nationally, 4-H has three mission mandate areas that the 4-H curriculum supports. And I'll start with STEM. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And specifically, 4-H has a goal which is uh, to grow the next generation of inventors, entrepreneurs, and problem solvers by giving opportunities to try, giving youth opportunities to try their hands at real world science. And experiential learning is the hallmark of 4-H. It's uh, hands-on, kids are actually doing projects with their adult mentors, and the STEM, goal for 4-H is designed to uh, give families opportunities for kids to participate in science, technology, engineering, and math. So just a couple of examples of STEM. examples of 4-H robotics. 4-H uh, has nationally partnered with an organization that's called FIRST, and I can't remember what FIRST stands for, but they are the first organization who started LEGO Robotics, and that was designed to get kids excited about engineering using LEGO robots, and they use the LEGO Mindstorm a lot of fun. I actually attended a training where I learned to program and build a robot and it, it is really achievable. It's a whole lot of fun. And uh, just a couple more examples uh, would be geospatial science. We actually had uh, one of our scholarship winners write some of the curriculum in New York State for the GPS curriculum. So that was pretty exciting. Uh, if you ever have the opportunity at the state fair to go to the robotics championship, it's a lot of fun. You see kids, you've been there. <laughs> um, it's so much fun because uh, different 4-H clubs will have teams and they will actually have a specific challenge. Two years ago it was the Mars, Mars Rover Challenge where the kids had to program their robots in a, a simulated um, activity that was actually done on Mars over, so it's, it's really exciting. And uh, incidentally, all the data from the Mars rover ends up back at Cornell University. So, extra fun there. And I wish I knew how to fix this right now. I apologize. Try pressing out the bottom. That oh. checks out the blue. Thank you. That's a good idea. <coughs> I'll move on to the second mission mandate area, which is 4-H civic engagement. And civic engagement is the broadest mission mandate. It incorporates youth voice, leadership, respect, history, community youth development, STEM, and healthy lifestyles. And 4-H citizenship, oh, excuse me, it's basically the second paragraph restates the first. Uh, the civic engagement that's a really big, a big piece of citizenship. And there are a lot of different formal activities that 4-Hers can participate in. Uh, for example, Capital Days, where 4-H delegates actually go to Albany and they meet with senators and assembly, assemblymen and women. And they 
learn about government and learn about leadership, and they have a chance to actually interact with uh, our county and our state leaders. And there's also nationally something known as uh, the Wonders of Washington. Wow. So kids actually have the opportunity to go down to Washington, D.C. and stay at the National 4-H headquarters and do similar activities. And if you'll turn the page one more time, please. Um, here's a picture of Senator Nazolio with Katie Nelson from Seneca County and one of her 4 H'ers at Capitol Days. And also a picture of a group of kids who are who are at the um, Capitol Days. So it's just a larger group picture. Um, other civic engagement activities uh, include STAR, which is held at the state, for, excuse me, the state fairgrounds every year. Uh, STAR stands for State Teen Action Representative Retreat, and older teens uh, go to that. And it's, it's like a stayover camp where they, they do team building exercises and leadership exercises. Cornell University also hosts career explorations every year. Uh, there's a teen ambassador program, and of course the New York State Fair is a big part of that. Um, four agers uh, start off in helper roles at the New York State Fair, and it serves a dual purpose. They they help out, uh, for example, the New York State Four H Foundation, and they're basically volunteering their time, although they're getting paid a small stipend. But they help help set up uh, all the exhibits at the fair. They help out the counties, and um, over time they take those skills and they move up the ladder, and they become uh, like a junior leader. And lastly, public presentations. I'm sorry, that's not up there. Uh, public presentations is uh, another hallmark of 4-H, and that's something that a lot of a lot of kids say attribute their ability to speak in public to. And the third uh, national mission mandate area is called healthy living. And that addresses six different areas of health. Physical activity, nutrition, social and emotional well-being, unintentional accidents, and safety, and of course, alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. Choose Health is an initiative of the Cornell Cooperative Extension for Youth Development Program, and it's intended to help all of us, leaders, volunteers, 4 Rangers, um, confront and take action to change the statistics of childhood obesity and help youth and families learn about healthy living. So, please turn to the page. Uh, the, there's a, a few formal programs, CHFFF, CHAT, and the 4-H Club Choose Health Officer Program. Uh, the Choose Health Food, Fun, and Fitness is a program that was developed at Cornell University for 8 to 12 year olds. And in that program, kids learn all about, um, they spend you know, 60 minutes a day exercising or doing a fun activity outside. They uh, learn how to prepare healthy snacks and learn about the uh, basic uh, food guidelines, nutrition guidelines. CHAT is a similar program, but that's for older teens. And 4-H Club Choose Health Officers, that uh, is where one person in each 4-H club is designated to be the Choose Health Officer. So they would be responsible for making sure that, that there's a healthy snack provided at the club meetings and that, that that's part of their meeting and conversation. The next slide is just uh, shameless bragging uh, pictures of my kids. I thought I would just tell briefly my 4-H story. And on uh, the left-hand side, uh, the little boy is my son, Heath, who as a clover bud, which is the youngest 4-H club member, uh, there he is with his friend Charlotte, and the two of them uh, won first and second place at a horse show. And then on the upper right-hand corner, that's my daughter, who is showing a bull calf 
at the county fair, and I think she got a second place ribbon that day. And then the third picture on the bottom right hand side is uh, Edie, <laughs> the horse Edie, and our Seneca Sale Club. And this picture was taken at the county fair parade. So we, uh, we all had a great time with that. And the purpose for me showing you this slide is to really uh, explain how the three mission mandate areas overlap and intersect. Um, even though we have a horse club, we always, you know, obviously we have a healthy snack. We have our Choose Health Officer take care of that. Um, we learn about uh, science. We would take field trips to Cornell and visit the veterinary school and that kind of thing. And we even did some, some sewing projects and that kind of thing as part of our public service. So no matter what the area of interest is for 4 Hers, they're really going to take advantage of all three mission mandate areas. And the New York State 4 H Foundation, if you please turn to the next slide, uh, our role, we're really just the, the fundraising arm of 4 H across the state. We process grants, uh, we participate in other external appeals such as this one, the Combined Federal Campaign. We seek uh, grants from private corporations and administer them. And we also have an endowed fund at Cornell University. And just to reiterate uh, the diversity of 4-H, 4-H is a very uh, open and accepting organization. We uh, offer something for kids who have a diverse group of interests. And as you can see on here, I've, I've listed a few specifically, 4-H shooting sports, uh, the New York State 4-H dog program, uh, livestock, any kind of plant and animal science, engineering and technology, environmental science, alternative energy, communication and expressive arts, leadership, personal development, health and fitness, uh, there's even a collegiate 4-H. And also of importance is the 4-H Operation Military Kids, which serves children who have parents that are serving overseas or in the military. States. So thank you very much. I hope that you now know about 4-H and will choose 4-H to be your charity.